the champion in the lobby. But as much as we love KDOT, he's not someone who has been in the top four, say, for EU in recent memory. You know, we're not seeing your, your calming course, for example, your team Vitality's dropping in saying hello, which I think is their loss. I think they'd be getting a lot of money out of this offseason if they were competing, uh, which is all the better for these bubble teams, of course. And it's great for these bubble teams to learn more about themselves and to, to find the right combination, like I say, to go into RLCS 24 with. But I don't think they've been tested as strongly as they will be in the coming months. Uh, but you can only take down what's in front of you, Psycho. And yeah. to do that, they're going to have to score two goals now. Yeah, two goals is a big, big difficulty. But it's still very much possible. And, well, at the moment, it's just about getting those nerves settled down. And Simat Stanfield is trying to work some sort of possession, compact over on the side of the field, and it's just a solo job for Reese Fox now to break out of defense. Moving forward, K-Dot loses possession and taking out his Reese Fox. Oh, bit of a double commit here, actually, from Escape. Oh, although they try to make something out of it. If anything, they just buy time, which again, given that they have the lead, not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Reese Fox now again, easily dispossessed. Shows a little too much of it. K-Dot around the corner, lovely. Lovely pass in field, just no one quick enough to it. No one quick enough to it that time around as Chorset's going to dispel that possession. And a single touch from Kadop isn't going to be good enough to beat that last last man in Edge B, who is full of mechanical genius. He's often just working opportunities all by himself with the likes of double flip resets, double touches, just anything you can possibly imagine. There's a lot of mechanical class on this side. The masses want to go wide and Kadop throws it up high. Again, no one really willing to chase for it. Shows that I'm surprised that they actually got the first touch of that Reese Fox now. Doesn't win the challenge, actually. Quite surprising. Runs out of boost. Tries to find their way out. Oh. What a lovely, lovely uh, snatch away there from Kadop. Unfortunate that that didn't go on target, though it is registered as so. Hit the woodwork and away down the other side of the field. Now looking to return the favor. Simma stops this at the midfield line. Ran out of boost. Not that their opponents know anything about that, though. Edgeby to the backboard and Reesbox. Chauzet, the transition complete. Transition complete and still one goal to the good for the side of escape as Kadop's going to work this infield. Simas, the only last hope, is able to throw the ball importantly back to the hands of another blue player as Compact is now going to aid a pinch forwards. And now just lining up to try and provide oh. this pressure. A lovely challenge there from Simas to do exactly that. Poking, prodding, but not necessarily combining. I want to see a little bit more of that from Kidal Chopu. Again, to utter the name of another legend, the Cooks here pinch might open up the pathways here. Compact sideways makes the save. Oh, bit of a team bump here, and Simas has to step in to clean up on Isle Blue. It will be Simas again to drive out from the back. Sneaks his way past Chosette. Kadop, Chosette, setting up for a respawn. Oh. Double touch and sinks it. Oh. No, just a little bit too wide, in fact. Such tiny margins, but unfortunately, the post can be an annoyance, and it's a big, big annoyance in game one for Kachaldok. And I think everyone's are the favourites to go ahead and take this. It's a wonderful bit of tracking back from Edgeby just to get his car in the way of that touch as Compact is going to try and do it all alone. I'm not sure he's got the reset that Simas is there to follow up, and maybe, just maybe, this orange side will be given a break. I love the composure from Compact as well. Didn't just go for the one touch and away it goes. He actually followed up on that play as well, ensuring that the, the proverbial cards were kept close to the chest of Kachaldov, basically just had to follow with the motion rather than, uh, again, react in a positive way to set up something for themselves. Speaking of, Shawzet tries to fake out that defender, Reese Fox tries to muscle his way through. No luck. Engby underneath Shawzet drives forward. Kadop limited boost, but wins this one. Infield to Reese Fox. No, Simas throws it away. Midfield again. Kadop misses out on the 100. That's allowed Edgeby to step in. And we talked earlier about burning that time off the clock. Well, that builds up slowly but surely. There's only 30 seconds now left to find an equalizer. It's really not that much time at all. And Compact is already up to make a challenge. Wow. Absolutely nowhere in the back lines. The third man had just about wrapped around and Compact found the confidence within, within him to read that play so well. And credit to Simas as well. The call is so immediate. You can tell in comms, he's like 180, 180. 
and 180 they do, and they go straight for the shot because Compact's got eyes on the goal. No one's at home. Double the lead, double the joy, double the misery for Kachaldot, who have been well and truly snuffed in this opening game number one. Even this, one of their better chances on net, has been thrown away as if it's nothing. Take a bow, escape. That is a mighty first win on your doorstep. A massive, massive win. And that is going to be a confidence builder for Escape. And I think fundamentally, the reason they had so much success in that first game is because unlike a lot of the teams who we would see in a high pressure situation such as this, they were able to stay completely composed. They were yeah. able to just sit back, play their game, not let sort of the names in the lobby, the pressure of the stream get really underneath their skin. They remained in a very, very fluid shape. Their form, absolutely superb in game one. You'll have to forgive the silly faces. I'm like, hold on a second. How did they score two goals with one shot on target? Of course, <laughs> we had that little break. However, yeah. it is worth mentioning that Escape did only have one, one shot, shot on target after the restart. That one shot was converted. And they only had one shot before that, by the way. Clinical? I think so. Uh, but they are, I would at least hope, be looking to get more shots on target because uh, as much as it's, as it's very satisfying to us to see two shots on target, two goals converted, you don't want to be relying on those sorts of statistics game after game after game. <laughs> you really, really don't. And now maybe we'll be able to see another opportunity for compacts, but very, very patiently waited by that defender in Reese Fox, who's the playmaker. He's able to do some damage there in defense as well. Kadok down the length of the field. He's got a player off to his right-hand flank as well. Simas downfield, Chorset gone. It's a wide, wide open next for Regman. Hold on a minute. That was a bit uncharacteristic from Kachaldot. Uh, very uncharacteristic. It is almost like they lost themselves in the flurry of attack. Uh, I look at the stats board, one shot on target, one goal. <laughs> Maybe Escape are looking to shut me up and say, yes, we can absolutely rely on this sort of stat line going forward. Uh, but it once again goes to show that they are so alive to situations. They're so ready to, to punish the individual errors of whoever they go up against. We actually saw it in the last series in the semi-finals where there wasn't really much to say for I don't know, because even in their best game, even when it looked like they were sewing everything together beautifully in the midfield, the individual player errors are what I'm doing. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, there's absolutely no error which has prevented that attack from flowing forwards. Compact just happened to be in the air at the right time there to make a touch, as now that is a certainly intentional drop down to the midfield. As Simas is yet again just trying to cherry pick a teammate in field. Edgeby has a lot of time to kill. He's got Kadok coming towards him and he's very easily dealt with the danger. It's a little bit better though from Kadok and his crew. Good save. <laughs> uh, they, they're, they're tightening up the rotation on the offensive side of things, which, at least in my mind, should prove dividends. Almost does there. Edgeby, right place, right time. Compact though. That's an open net. They smugged them again. They've just been pickpocketed. They've been caught with their trousers completely down. And well, Reese Fox, I think it was just a tiny misclip on that midfield line. And unfortunately, well, it's going to cost them. Count it, folks. Four shots on target, four goals converted. It just keeps getting better. Two goals to nil. And you know what? I think there might be more in it for escape. Such is their fortune, such is their industry, such is their ability to recognize exactly what the Achilles heels of this Kachaldot roster are. There are three minutes left, so there's still plenty of time for the team in Orange to find oh. another, but it's all the blue, baby. Let's get five. It's just, it's just insanity at the moment. I'm not sure many people could believe it, but Edgeby has taken his sweet, sweet time over that finish. He knew he had the defense on ropes. Extraordinary in his lovely placement. Again, it's such, it's such creativity, but it's also, it's so nice to see a team that is so very clearly communicating with each other. They're all on the same wavelength, all. No way. I'm, okay, okay, guys, we've had a shot and it has not gone into the back of the net. Breathe a sigh of relief. 
Kachow.fans, or should you? Because forget the fact that they haven't scored a goal in this game. They've not scored a goal in this entire series. And you're not going to be winning games until you start to do that pronto. And in the blink of an eye, half a game has elapsed yet again. Oh, goodness, another shot that's been saved away. Hold me, Psycho, hold me. As much as I'm holding your hand right now, they're going to have to really hold the hands of each other as teammates at the moment. It seems to be very much individual work. Breathing like to almost every single time they touch the ball at the moment. It's very one-dimensional, like we might have been saying in earlier games, which is unusual, but sure set. As much as he's made a difference to get one demo on the board, there's two blue players still remaining in net as Edgeby wraps around. He's got a touch. And breathe through. A dunk as well. In comes Compact. Squeezing the ball back into this orange corner. Now Simas has a chance to lace this all the way across to a teammate, but it's a little whiff there, but no harm done. No thrills, but no thrills from escape. It's all basics done right. Oh, what a shot attempt from Simas. Compact goes for the follow-up. Edgeby watching brief. And actually, it's going to be his teammate, Simas, who gets onto this again. Chazette's got to 180. There's going to be no chip away. And over the halfway line it goes. No sirree is going to be locked within that orange half for just a little bit longer. 70 seconds now to play with. Three goals to buy. And that would be to just take it to overtime. Oh, the pass a little bit heavy there from Simas. But uh, to say they're in complete control would be an understatement. Absolutely, and this is just proving of the class, but that could have been something a bit magical from Kadop. He eyed up that sidewall when he thought, I might have a chance to do it all by myself. Just really proving me wrong and my point about the mechanical advantage that this escape side might have. But alas, they are still three goals to the good. Reese Fox breathes some light downfield. It's not all dark and dingy just yet. Kadop with a shot on net, but just about saved away. My new details though, Reese Fox again was hoping to pick up the 100, had to go into reverse, and that just delays the rotation a little bit more. I don't think it's punched them too hard necessarily, uh, but their next involvement is, is practically just non-existent. Shazette into the save, and at this point we're just playing for time. It would have to be a goal now, and then two practically off the rip for Kachaldov, and again, that's just to take it to overtime, not to win the game itself, and it's a game which I don't think they're going to be winning. It is going to be two losses on the bounce. It's going to be another clean sheet for escape. We were joking in the green room about a third sweep of the day on stream, but the way this is going, Psycho, looks more likely than not. Absolutely, but the shocking factor is, Relic, that we were saying it could be a sweep the direction of the team that's currently trailing. We thought Kachowdop were going to come in as absolute favourites into this matchup. Such is the legacy of the players on the field and sort of their recent form across these rendezvous competitions. We are looking in the eyes of winners mm -hmm. as one of the players is just going to take a brief pause to say, you know what, I'm going to restart things and make sure the tech is good to go, Relic. Yeah, it's, even if there is nothing wrong, a bit of placebo effect doesn't necessarily hurt. Of course, we know the whole thought behind, you know, or changing cars, just something a little bit different. It's all about the self vibe check and, and Kachowdop really not feeling like themselves. This is a team which I've seen uh, demonstrate an extraordinary ability to change up the tempo of a game again really play into the strengths of, of Kadop and and Chauzette, two players that can play a little bit more defensively or or really explode into into an attacking threat uh, but both of them have been kept incredibly quiet. Reese Fox, we've barely heard much from. And you can see that you know right there at the end again getting inside his own head, having to stop and then reverse ever so slightly just to sort of tick off the oh i got the 100 boost on the way out thing it, it doesn't feel natural at the moment yeah it's 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 a difficult circumstance to be in and i think if i'm going to be completely serious and completely honest mm. about the fate of kachowdov at least in my eyes at the moment it depends on how calm they can remain over the course of the next few minutes we saw in the previous games just an array of goals that went in that seemed wide open down the entire length of the field and as to previous world champions, that can't be a mistake you repeat that often. Not just the calm, but they need a little bit of incision. They need a little bit of brutality. They need to essentially learn a little bit from their opponents and, and take the opportunity by the horns. If there's even an opportunity to be had. Of course, maybe through Reese Fox, just maybe. Goes up high. 
And Josette keeps it locked nice and tight to the backboard. Edge B. Double commit, but gets the save done. It's a much better start, more positive than Kachaldop. Right down the other end, Simas is intercepted by Chazette. <laughs> Takes the man, not the ball. Works. K-Dop now, looking for that so that sauciness that we know so well from him. But again, it's a save from Edgeby. Again, Compact is there to throw this one up high via the challenge. Simas dispossesses, and Compact throws it away. Beautiful work. Yeah, really, really nice. And they just had to respect this escape defense, and what is that touch? Oh. Oh my goodness, you're going to give me a heart attack, Edgeby. Next time, just put it in the back of the net. <laughs> to be fair, at that point, it was all power, no accuracy. It's actually a mighty miracle how close it did get to going on target. But my goodness, 90 seconds already gone by. And you have to say, Kachaldov has looked the better side for the first time this series. It bumps discombobulation oh. and a complete whip. Oh. And another one at the mercy of escape. The mercy has been shown. Oh dear. It happens to the best of us. And well, at the moment, as much as escape, I think still are looking very, very good in this game. That was a big mistake from Simas. Hopefully it doesn't remain haunting him for the rest of these three minutes of play as Chorset is going to try and do it all by himself but the ball so often being wrapped around this back corner is very comfortable to defend at the moment and Kachaldop are going to need a heck of a lot more creativity. Or are they just tying up their laces? As we head towards half time, nil-nil the scoreline. I'm sure Kachaldop fans will be, again, considering the last 10 minutes, happy with what we see but still no what? goals until now it was almost prophesized it's the soft it's 1-0 on the stroke it's such a perfect infield ball and it's caught compact and simas completely rooted to the ground they had no choice but to even just stand there and watch kachaldop have finally come up with something beautiful it's not just their first goal of the series it's a lead now they've got to hold it, or even better, extend it. And now we'll see what metal escape are made out of as well, of course. The first time that they've gone behind in this game, and then they're going to be ruining those two golden opportunities, which they missed just a minute ago. Oh, no lovely way. interception from Kador. Oh, brilliant read from Compact, and Edgeby gracefully throws it downfield, although there will be no shot attempt that finds the back of the net. Counter after counter. This really could go anyone's way at the moment. Everyone's just extending so, so far up the field and finally we restore some sort of normality, but Simas has dove as third man very, very aggressively to try and make a play of his own as Compact throws this ball infield. Simas still there, Edgeby rotating around at lightning pace and the ball still being wrapped around central. Simas tried to go underneath K-Dot there, show a little bit of class, but couldn't that time around. Another infield Ooh. ball and still seen away. When is this shot on target going to be the one that does the damage? Maybe here from Compact, but still not enough. Oh, what a lovely read again from Simas. Get the glasses on. 2020 vision not required because it's all focal and Eyeing up the shots, one after another, after another. Chorzette, well placed, compact in field. Edgeby waiting on the periphery. Oh, that's going to go over his head though, or is it? No, quick reactions, picks up the 100, leaves it to his teammates to defend away. Oh, that was, that was a calamitous oh. error. Oh, was it? Oh my goodness. Chorzette, A, how did you miss? B, how did they not go 2-0 up? C, is this going to be another goal this time going the way of escape? The answer, no. Nobody knows what's going to happen for the remainder of this series. It's just calamity at the moment. It's craziness and Compact now has a chance. Flicks past one. And Simas very, very casually drops it back down to Compact to continue the attack as this ball is going to roll just looming in the corner. It's just slow playing, a nice bump and a 50-50 against Kadot. The ball still cemented in this orange corner, seven seconds left. Where is this third man? Edge beat up, but nobody to finally answer that looming ball. The one moment of quality separating the two sides. Simas got no boost to work with. Oh, Kadot. Perfect. The spike down. A point on the board. A goal on the board. It's all that was needed, Psycho. 
Yeah. But that's so, so much better from Kachaldop, even in just, just purely in possession. Higher quality, higher class, and it showed escape. They, I mean, they had an answer. They had a couple of answers. <laughs> they just didn't put them on the piece of paper. Absolutely. And Kachaldop also did a fantastic job of just tightening things up a little bit as well. In those first two games where they were trailing by these sort of open goals that just went across the entire length of the field, often that third man was called into question as being maybe the source of the issues, just trying to stretch a little bit too desperately at the early stages. I can tell now that Kajaldop definitely have some sort of level head at the moment. They have some confidence and they can build upon this sort of new platform they've given themselves with this one goal uh, lead that led to this victory here. Yeah, again, it's, it's, I have a feeling it's part of that placebo effect. I realise Reese Fox, not one of the most prominent figures, particularly in that win, but just just the sense that you can do what you feel you should be able to do can sometimes make the difference. Just, you know, half a second quicker to the challenge, uh, a little bit more confidence in a flick and spin, uh, you know, the sort of like the the sort of ego to go for those backboard flip resets whatever you want to call it at the end of the day it just all on our value alone looked 10 times better than the 10 minutes previously seen from Kachaldop but now comes the tough part Psycho they got to do it all over again yeah, and that's going to be difficult to replicate because escape their positioning has been really sharp they've not let anything easy trickle in so I just had to bite my tongue. K-Dot looks a little bit out of shape there as Simas continues an attack. Nice little backwards touch. I'm sure set just to tip the ball back into the halfway line as oh, another booming ball comes forward here. Down from square one, it'll be Simas. Takes it to the midfield. Edgeby, lovely connection. Not on target. And we're watching brief though. Up goes compact. That's set up beautifully, and Edgeby's going to eat that up all day long. A feast for the eyes. It's another snap from Edgeby to make it 1-0. Menacing punishment from Compact yet again. And I looked at that first game, and I believe it was Compact who threw himself up for a very audacious pre-jump that managed to find its way over to a teammate, and it's formulated a goal yet again. Somehow, this Kajaldop time team are still not able to... Well, expects these sorts of aggressive challenges as they still keep coming freaking fast. Kachaldop must wonder what the ball has against them right now because every time the challenge seems to go against them, this is loose. Simas not going to get there, though. Very quick response. What does the fox say? Uh, he says, ring, 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 ring. It's a goal. He's very happy. He's very glad. He's smiling and he's probably celebrating because it's an important equaliser. If they were to trail this... Well, third game of the series, or fourth game rather, it would lead their opposition to match points, so it's so important to get that equaliser quickly. Extraordinarily, it's the first game this series which has seen both teams get on the scoreboard. Another twist in the tail that will hopefully lead to even better things from both sides. Reese Fox has dived upon there, now it's K'd up and Compact says absolutely not. We're going to keep on attacking here. Kate off with that demo on Simas oh. and on Compact. Edgeby can't get it away either. Or oh, Shazette was going for the free read. Doesn't quite work out. And Simas then is left to his own devices. Here comes Reese Fox. Shazette calls him off. Actually ends up hitting that ball. And there's a near post. It's Reese Fox to double the lead. An aggression biting its way through. Just so, so, so dangerous are these challenges upfield. And. I must say it was a little bit clumsy there from Escape. Their players were a little bit too cornered away, shuffled away into the far corners of the field and really gave that gap open. But Chaldoff were the ones really making it happen because they themselves were going for the demos and again, Kadoff in the faces of all three of them, almost seemingly unoblivious to the dangers that could come with overselling themselves, but it's working working really nicely and yet again escape asked to come up with another goal that's a lovely lift and here's reese fox again i mean literally said what was it minutes ago one of the quieter players on the field but quiet no more they've brought it to life absolutely he's the most aggressive player on the field right now is downfield he's looking to make a redirect but i think he pre-jumped early expecting that touch to come so perfectly in his direction was not oh. meant to be as edgeby is uh shoveled away to the side there a little bit of Unsportsman's like conduct 
from the defenders on the blue side. Simas over in the corner needs to deal with this threat all by himself for the time being. There's a lot of patience from the attackers, breathing way to a chance. But Kano just above the bar. Again, just throwing it towards the back wall. Forces escape to look backwards rather than forwards and compact completely out of boost. Nothing, nada. Good control from Kachaldop in this final third. Compact looking for Simas, finds him. The ball continues on its journey. Edgeby can't get there to finish it off. Simas, though, oh, was hoping for the drop down and the shot from Compact. It sends it going right down the other end. And it's another bit of woodwork rattle. They could be 4 5 by this point. Big, big misses and a big chance for Go. Oh, I was going to say Compact to wrap around following that touch, but it wasn't meant to be. There's now in a third man position. He's just going to hoof the ball high. Paid up all the way over to the other side of the field. I feel ball, but limited boost in the tank to continue this attack, at least I thought, for Kajaldot. But still, maybe the shape of the escape at the moment still plaguing them just that little bit. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Sorry, how much do I have to tip the waiter? Because this was laid up on a plate. Bump, flick, demo, goal. Scrumptious. It's delicious, it's perfect, and it's what you expect from Escape. And they finally roared back into life as now backwards on his own backboard. Compact is going to try and weave through a 50-50. You can tell there's a little bit of confidence at the moment. Hopefully not too much of that as they could easily overstep. Here he is once again with 70 boost in the tank. No targets to aim for as Reese Fox wraps around. He's always just downfield in those positions to punish when he's big. Circle, London taxi to be able to make the most out of that so I don't blame him for not actually getting a shot away better to, to reset when all players are good to go and good to go they are now but dispossessing here is compact straight back to Kadoff who's just picked up that 100 boost throws it downtown Edgeby meets it in the middle of the road bumped out the way Reese Fox now the flick oh no the fake oh now there goes the flick but it goes wide unfortunate on this occasion and once again backs against the wall escape looking for a way out down the tunnel through it's on this oh. left flank here bumped out the way Reese Fox the quick turn Chauzette a bump on Edgeby but Simas already with the challenge just bumps galore at the moment both teams are just getting really really aggressive with each other now and sometimes Leading to a bit of danger as we do fall into overtime. East Fox on the kickoff, just eyeing up what could be a way back into this series as Edge Beat. Very relaxed, taking that 100 boost, trying to assert a little bit of pressure on this orange team. Our escape at the moment. A nice touch once again from Chorset, but still the attack keeps coming. Undoubtedly the most important phase of the series, bar none. Win this and escape on to match point lose this and we are effectively into best of three territory it all goes back to even stevens and i don't think that escape quite want to meet steven to be quite frank edgeby again denied compact go for the layoff does find simas but two bodies in the way kachal dot defense strong two bodies in the way and three players up it was very abrupt from the kajal dot defense they're trying to be quick about their movements they're trying to be well, getting in the way as much as they possibly can as infield passes and touches the name of the game at the moment for escape. They know their opposition are just sitting deep, trying to really be safe in moments like these. Oh, that's a miss. Not so much from Edgeby and Simas already on his bike, little boost, but great flick onto the backboard. That's a crucial miss! But again, great recovery here from Kadop. Edgeby now got a lot more boost, goes for the spike oh. down, misses the second touch. Oh, that would have been beautiful if he found it just to sow a little bit more chaos. Maybe invite a shadow striker into the play. Here comes Simas to oh. Edgeby. Oh, just too sharp the angle this time. So close, but the attack keeps on coming. Simas over to the backboard and a drop down from Compact in field. Could not quite find its way through Chor set the wall at the back. Who certainly made amends for previous mistakes in this series. That's a nice opportunity for a bump on that last man in Kadop. A ball comes flying back forwards, but still nothing gives for the time being. That's almost two minutes into OT now and still difficult to call. Flank wide, they throw it into the centre. They flank wide, they throw it into the centre. It's 
It's, it's, it's almost like a game of racquetball in a way where Escape are just looking for the opportunities that they set themselves up with to fire it with as much ferocity as they can towards the net. It is committing defensive players from Kachaldop, uh, but they are again just absorbing no plenty as well. But this is a ricochet downtown, and Edge Beacon react in time! Three spots, hat trick hero! Hat trick hero, but look at that touch from Kadop. It was assisted by compact of all players. On the field, it was actually well, Escape's own demise there, leading to that pinch downfield and Reese Fox. I talked about him being this opportunist player who's sort of lurking downfield to punish when needs be. That's another crucial punishment as far as Kachaldop's uh, chances will go for the rest of this series. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Simas with the eight on target, but no goals. What did I say? I mean, look, I know it was a bit of fun. We were saying, oh, five shots, five goals. It was never going to last. And now Escape are realizing just how scary Kachaldop can be. It's 2-2 in the series. The overtime has been lost. They had, again, 13 shots on target. And they only got two goals out of it. Psycho, it's gone from a beautiful stat line to a very, very concerning stat line. Kachaldop only growing in confidence. Yeah, and to be completely blunt with you, it's, I think it's because Escape are having to work for it now. Yep. They didn't have yep. their work cut out for them in those first two games. It was very open chances that were given to them. Kachaldop have just put a shot to that completely. They have slammed the door straight on their faces. And coming into this game, I think it's fair to say they might be the favourites. Some, some would say that they never lost the faith. Oh, not, no, 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 I did. To be fair, it was very convincing performances from Escape in the first two letters. Not pins our words here, but... Kachaldop, again, it's that experience. They reach into the reserves. They don't break under the pressure. They flourish under it. And now they are a blooming. Blooming good, that is. But of course, again, it's another clean slate. A chance for Escape to try and figure out a way to shackle this team in orange for the moment. But quite frankly, it just feels like it's going to be what Rocket League always seems to devolve into nowadays at the very top level, Psycho. You simply got to be better than the other team, whatever way you want to reach it. Absolutely, and it's about your consistency over seven games, not just a few. And at the moment, Kachaldop still on the front foot, still hunting for that first goal is Rhys Fox. As he couldn't quite punt it past that last player, Simas, all the way across to open space here, but limited boost numbers means he's just going to have to wait. As this whole blue side is just standing in awe at the moment of the back lines, just waiting for this horror story to end. Oh, lovely shot going for the near post. Catches out everybody and their mothers. Oh, and that shot goes straight into Simas, who was very, I think, relieved to find himself in the perfect place to deny another opportunity. Simas again forced into action, picks up another save. Really, really struggling, but so apparently is Chauzet, who apparently can't take boost wow that is a new one i've never seen that before might require another lobby change to be fair that's going to be really annoying i feel mm. for a kachow drop their psycho because it was all them for the first 90 seconds yeah i think it's completely fair to say that and if a 50 50 may have just spewed one different path to what was anticipated and what happened in, in those attacks, we could be seeing a one-goal game already, the way of Kachaldop, the way they were rotating around each other, the fluidity we were seeing, how easily they were able to maintain that pressure looks dangerous for Escape. It, they, they really did just have to sit back and weather the storm at times, and it was just by the skin of their teeth that we're still at a level playing field. Looks like we are sticking with the same lobby, by the way. Some some indecision, but it uh, it appears to be more internet connection side than an actual bug within the game. Thank goodness. Uh, so we're going to be restarting from kickoff, it looks like, at nil-nil, at 3 minutes 24. Again, I'm sure that the sweat is being wiped off the brows of escape uh, as, as we are... <laughs> 
as they were under so much pressure for those opening 90 seconds. But it looks like we're ready to, to get back underway, Psycho. Uh, and really from here on out, the question that I've got to ask you is, is how do escape find that rhythm again? Is it about being bold, stretching themselves out to the midfield, locking down that boost first and foremost so that they have the resources to work with? Uh, or is it trying to pre-read the pre-reads because Kachow Dot have got their number at the moment? At the moment, they're playing a very, very defensive game, I think it's fair to say, as I'm just going to hold my tongue and wait for a shot to come through from Simat. <laughs> but Escape have been very much huddled up at the back. They're still banking on those open opportunities that were afforded to them in the first couple of games, and it's a dangerous precedent to set yourself as a team that you can get away with winning just from your opposition's mistake. They really need to aggress forwards, at least one player on the field, to try and make some of these opportunities stick now. Waiting game will only get you so far. Ooh. Another shot across the bow. Woodwork ringing. Ring, ring. Who's this? Blue team on the offensive and another <laughs> shot denied. This time by Reese Fox. Falls kindly for combat. What? Goes for the Ripper. Oh my goodness. What? Speaking of Woodwork ringing, it's practically shaking, quaking in its boots. Maybe another shot. No, this one well wide. I don't even care that it didn't go in. I'm just impressed with how hard that ball was hit. It was like 140 kph or something ludicrous, I'm sure. It caught the defense almost off guard, but it just goes to prove the shape of this side of up at the moment. It's so, so strong as Chaw set. He needs to try and make a soft touch. It's a heavy one. It's given way for Simas downfield. He's got a double touch down to compact already there. Just really thought the play through before it even happened. A heck of a lot better, though. That's really intelligent. Simas versus two, but it's a committal of two. Oh, lovely Ooh. fake from Edge B. The flick over the second now runs out of boost, runs out of juice. And that's thrown away downfield where Shawzet is. Second touch, no, pulls away. And Reese Fox can't recycle this. Compact at the far post, a little too far for his liking. We are seeing so, so much aggression from both sides at the moment as. Everyone's trying to step up that little bit closer towards the play and be the next one to strike. This compact does manage to throw it over back to his teammate on the backboard there, and it's been such a well-coordinated play to see the ball back downfield, but that touch has gone a little bit astray straight towards the hand of Reese Fox. Head on. See the child off. Always leaving that one extra player upfield. Looking to feed it straight into them. That's a nasty ball to deal with, isn't it? Just planted against the backboard. And that's quite masterful here from Escape. Dimas. Again, yeah, we're looking for something a little bit more fanciful than just a straight shot down. And you can understand why. It's been a very nice defensive game from Kachado. Around the corner to no come way. Back. Oh, it's beautiful! It's Tiki Taka! Oh, it's textbook. It's so perfect. Compact stayed in the midst downfield and Simas decided to pick his moment to rush downfield from that third man position and such a great play there. Sensational, simply sublime. S, S, S. That's how we're going to rank that one. Ooh. And another one on target. Kaid off into the save. That surely would have been dust and we'll leave you in it there. Say escape, but still dangerous. 1-0, 15 seconds left. Chorzet with the quick turn. Dashes past one. There's Kate off middle of the pack. Oh, just goes a little bit too early. That could have been fed into him. That could have been a good shot. Down the other end, Simas, the flick on target. It's Edry to put it away. No, Chorzet throws it away. Come back. Come back with the spike. Not happening. Reesbox doesn't leave it for Kate off the interception. Chorzet. Again, keeps it up, goes to that wall. Another challenge of Compact. Another success for Compact on his campaign. Edgeby can't get a piece of this one. Reese Fox downfield. Simas returns the sender. Shows it off his own backboard. <laughs> it's always a miss from Reese Fox, but there's Kate up again. Simas oh. finally hits the green stuff. Match point for escape. Oh. It's okay, Relic. You can breathe now. <laughs> it's, it's all right. My goodness. <laughs> oh. Got the hearts racing. Kachaldop, they have some tenacity. They have some bite to them now, but they're still... They, they, they can't do it easily. They can't do it easily at all, even with that extra... I don't know, what was it? 20 seconds of extended time on that zero-second mark. They still couldn't weave one in. It was 
Very solid from Escape, comparatively to the last two performances before this game. And there's a lot more shots being put on the board from them, or at least meaningful opportunities as well. 11 shots to their name. Kachaldop restricted to only five. And I think still there is work to be done for this, well, the French side. Well, again, similar to game number three, it was that one moment of just outstanding quality. Yeah, yeah. And what outstanding quality it was full team goal bang 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 short passing it's actually more of a rarity nowadays in rocket league than it ever has been we look at those really quick mid to long range passes that makes a difference that cuts open defenses such close quarters combat is is a rarity and i'm so glad that we got to witness it on this occasion and even the shot itself from simas wasn't exactly the best shot it was straight the keeper just had enough power to get past them of course but that's all in the past now it's not just match point it's tournament point for escape how's your nerves boys well, this is the real test. This is where things can get really, really nervy as a team that's in this sort of a position, or maybe they'll just take it by the horns as now Simas looks for a bump and he's found it! On your set, scarpering back all by his lonesome. And that is a piece of work done by Simas. Oh, just a simple shot in the end from Edgeby, but Simas will most certainly claim the credit for that one. All him, all escape, two goals unanswered if you want to take the stats literally across six minutes of play now. But don't count out Kachaldop just yet. They know that they are in a tournament losing position. It's a position that will potentially lose them $900. Let us not forget so. With a lion's share of the game left to run, Psycho, I imagine they're going to get a couple of good looks looks and at the moment it's looking good for escape all three players able to see away that danger and very very well coordinated and just calm collected reserved they have this one goal advantage and they're trying to just keep on to it for the life of them as kdop is going all alone into the corner once again it's a trend we've seen from kachaldop trying to work around these corners but it's not going to work that time all right this fox <laughs> kind of gets himself in the muddle on the top of the box there he has to give up a, a lot of time and see his team lie in wait as well. It's fast from Edgeby, isn't it? And from Simas, is compact. And provides a bit of an arc here rather than a determined challenge. Edgeby, looking for compact downfield. He's already made a runner. Not going to find him, actually. Going to find Simas instead. Compact still lurking. Demo on Edgeby, actually. But that's on target. Shazette, quick reactions. And now Reese Fox down the other way, looking for K-Dop. Oh, what a lovely lift there from Edgeby. Again, the connection's crucial here in the midfield. Oh, and that's another crucial infield connection, but Compact is a very, very well-versed player in this sort of environment. Going you know, for so many years, these sorts of events really, really proving his best. It's actually a 2v2 situation at the moment, I believe, a rule one on the field as Simas has a situation all for himself, Compact aiming for a demo as now compact has a chance he's going to try and work a ball in field yet again no double touch found though for simas as this ball still in the orange half you can't seriously be rule warning over 900 dollars oh. they absolutely are my goodness me if i was the coach i'd be absolutely living but as mere viewers as spectators uh, we love the drama oh. and speaking of well there's a star performance and it's compact again oh and it's another Aggressive play as KDOT was forced to jump so early by Simas lunging for a bump downfield. And 3v3, it often gives you that security to go for these sorts of bump plays downfield. They don't even care if they're doing it when there's two of them. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, if they score one goal and it's the only goal, they're going to be feeling a little bit silly, I'm sure, or Maybe they don't care either way. Maybe it's just all in the name of competitive training, but 900 extra dollars does have a certain nice ring in the ear. And sure, Zed looking to ring this ball further towards the net, but again, there's no one willing to commit. It's all commit alone from Escape. They could practically run their own wedding. They're so happy to play for each other, to fight for each other, to sacrifice position each other it is 
genuinely so commendable to see uh, three, again, periphery players, bubble players, working so well. Again. Looking for a third, looking for another bubble. Uh, but three times is not the charm. Three times is the charm in terms of world championship titles taken by KDOT, but Reese Fox well, okay. is a new star Ooh. player, working for a star chance to try and get a little bit closer in what could be the ultimatum in this series. It doesn't seem like a lot of time, does it? In Rocket League terms, certainly more than enough to find two. But on the back of this performance, it won't be enough. Nothing near, and that's not lucky for Kachalgon. All the way back to square one. No nick on it. Much more secure here from Edgeby. And now we're already down to 30 seconds. How time flies when you're having fun! And fun is what Compact is having six shots. Two goals, MVP performance on the biggest of stages here at the Rocket Baguette. He is laughing, Compax, right now in the faces of history makers, Kachaldop. They are being put to bed at the moment. It's good night, it's lights off at the moment. Three goals in 24 seconds is almost unheard of. And for a roster that has well, been together for quite a while now, trying to find their development, this side of escape, or at least the duo of Simas and Compact. They're making such a name for themselves here as only 10 seconds remain. The Chowdop, their legacy, didn't come through this time around, it seems. I wonder if these three lads enjoy their mince pies because they sure made mince meat of Kachal's off in game number six. No need to go to Champions Field on this occasion. They've already taken the crown for themselves and il rendezvous number 12 is escapes. Congratulations to them taking the top prize of $1,500. And I gotta say, just on the basis of that entire series, uh, just taking a step back and looking at it from afar, you have to say they absolutely deserve it, uh, Psycho. So much control over so much of the series. It was a couple of real quality moments and maybe that one or two five-minute periods from Kachadop where you maybe question the conviction. Uh, the conviction was the buzzword for this team in blue. My goodness, what a performance. What a performance indeed. And I think upon reflection, I was a little bit worried after those first two games. Would we be yeah. seeing sort of an elevated level of performance from both sides, I think it's fair to say. But as soon as Kachaldop gave their response in the series, they proved their value as a team in this sort of high stakes competition in the present day. Escape still had another gear. They were yeah. able to shift up. They were able to play make. They were able to remain so calm and collected, yet use that as a platform to build upon. And I think moving forwards towards the next year when there may be a new sort of competition uh, at a world stage for them to get involved with, this side of escape, if they were to fall apart, if they were to change anything that they're doing, I'd be disappointed because today was fantastic. It really was. And again, if, if this is the beginning of a partnership uh, where all three of these players take that next step in their careers, I'm here for it. But before they do so, let us take a look back at the bracket that we witnessed unfolding. I mean, it was a great day at the office, honestly. I'm sorry if this is blinding light. It's a big <laughs> white screen in a very dark room right now, but my spirits uh, are most certainly enlightened because there weren't many sweeps at all. In fact, I don't know an escape really the main recipients or dealers outers of the you had Choop Choop of course with the 3-0 earlier on in the day against Nombre del Equipo. Uh, but Kachaldop themselves, I, you know, we... I think there's, there's, again, a bit of a misdemeanor about just how dominant they've been yeah. in offseason. They look really good, don't get me wrong, and they did, again, in, in patches here today, but I think there's still a long way to go before we really class them as top 16, let alone top 8 RLCS caliber. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, I saw more evidence from Escape today that they can reach those heights. So, with two more rendezvous to go before we close out this wonderful tournament circuit, Psycho, uh, there is a lot of learning to be done, and, and thankfully there will be two weeks break now, where over Christmas, maybe just maybe, we can see another couple of stars rising. Maybe so. It'd be a wonderful thing to see, but I think one thing that's particularly important to highlight as well, we're being very critical about Kachaldop and how they've performed uh, maybe today not up to the expectations of what we would like to see from perhaps a top 16 side. But if mm. their weak days, if their rough days are making a final of the most competitive weekly tournament running right now in the European scene, 
I think that says so much more than my words ever could. Spot on. But your words do mean a lot, Psycho. We trust them, we herald them, uh, and we will certainly love to hear them again in the future. The same goes for the wonderful uh, Craftman, of course, who joined us earlier, and everyone in chat. Thank you so much for joining. I want to give a particular shout out to uh, the lovely Kalish on social media and Danny Boy on production. Uh, Danny, who didn't have much time uh, to, to hand to be able to put this all together. Didn't he do a good job, chat? Please be sure to send as much love as you can. Uh, it's been a wonderful day. Again, we are going to be taking a two-week break now for the rendezvous, so you'll be joining us on the other side of Christmas. Not quite a Boxing Day bonanza, but just after that on the 27th, and then, of course, our final rendezvous is January 4th. So if you're players, if you're looking to sign up, or if your viewers looking for the next stream, uh, those are the dates to